hello guys welcome to my channel so if you're receiving this error i was receiving this error message so first of all make sure that your graphic card is supported to play the game now if the graphic card is supported but still you're receiving the error then the next step is to make sure your dedicated graphic card is enabled in device manager so make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager in my case nvidia this is my dedicated graphic card and this was disabled over here so i was receiving this error so make a right click if it is disabled you can just make a right click and then click on enable device now once this is enabled now you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder and then open ab infinite binaries win64 now select both the exe file over here in my case i have already added the game so once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save again click on browse and this time select this exe file click on add once the game is added again click on options and then select high performance in my case both are ex both exe files are already set to dedicated graphic card now the next step is to now this is for desktop users so make sure that your hdmi or display cable is connected to the discrete graphic card so at the back of your tower or maybe wherever the graphic card slot is make sure it your display cable is connected to the discrete graphic card sometimes we connect the cable to the the inbuilt graphic card so connect the cable to the discrete graphic card and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this 
Now the next step is to disable integrated graphic card in device manager and then launch the game. So try this, make a right click the start menu, go to device manager and expand display adapter and then make a right click on your Intel or your inbuilt graphic card and then you can click on disable device and once it is disabled now you can launch the game and then check you can always enable your inbuilt graphic card so whenever you want to enable it you can make a right click and you will see the enable option so enable it whenever you want to now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's geforce experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete, run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now after the installation, clean installation, now you can launch the game and then check. Now NVIDIA card users can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop and then show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. And once NVIDIA control panel is open, go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings click on add over here and then click on and go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder ab infinite binaries win64 and then select this exe file and then click on open now once it is added over here now select high performance nvidia processor over here and then click on apply and then again click on add and then again click on browse and then this time select the second exe file and then click on open and then you can select high performance nvidia processor hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version right now the version is 23h2 so you can check you can type in w i n v e r and you can check which version you have right now the latest version is 23h2 so update your windows to the latest version so you can go to windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the last step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to launcher click on game settings and then click on repair and once the repair is complete now you can launch the game and then check if you have the game on steam you can make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files after the verification you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel